all Kate here from Normal Minecraft. Welcome or welcome back to uh, the reaction. Now before I talk about stuff that I'll be watching today, uh you're probably curious about the background and stuff. Well recently it has been discovered that there is a worryingly large amount of mold in my bathroom. I'm gonna have the picture shown, but yeah, uh, before there was like this thing like this medium patch like medium thin patch of mold near the shower in my bathroom and then when my mom took off that patch it was discovered that there was actually a whole lot of mold behind that and obviously uh, you don't need to be a genius to know that mold isn't a good thing to breathe in so yeah so for now I'm going to be out here it shouldn't take that long so yeah someone According to my parents, someone will be coming tomorrow, somewhere in the afternoon, so... I'm not going to have to completely look like this, but there's like a small chance I might have to move up back to my old room, which I hope doesn't happen, because I've been wanting to have this bigger room for so long. But yeah, anyways, uh, today I will be reacting to some content by Spring Talk, which, uh, if you would know, Spring Talk is behind the Chimpy Chippa tapes that... It, yeah, the Chippy Chippa Tapes is a short little analog horror series that had a game adaptation, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, I actually did a reaction video of the, of the tapes, and I actually do plan on doing a video of me talking about the series, and you'll be seeing it on October. Or in October. But, uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, so, uh... It's not really recently, but like a year after the Chimpy Chippa tapes or a year after the uh, gag reel, they released a new short analog horror series followed by a short film called The Mannequin Tapes. And the horror short film, They Hunt Without Eyes, which honestly sounds pretty cool. And honestly, yeah, mannequins can be scary depending on the context content or context and then they have a scp short film that involves the predator which you know as someone who enjoys the predator yeah so today i'll be reacting to the mannequin tapes they hunt without eyes and scp predator so anyways uh let's let's get into this let's do this Part one. All right. Oh, so are these names like the Weeping Angel? Oh. Oh shit. Wait. Oh. Right, but uh some more things. Well, okay. Um that's horrifying. Alright, anyways, part two, part two. Ah, so that's the facility that they broke out. Oh, 
Oh shit. So wait, can they just like teleport or something? Oh. Alright. How's the sixth place in the two thousand? Alright. Oh no. Just people trying to have a good time. You might want to run. Yeah, good idea. Now that, that yeah, that's creepy. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, something tell. All right, so I had to add some. I'm, yeah, I'm having to do some editing. I'll see what thing he adds up. But like I mentioned, someone tells me the series isn't going to end on a happy note. Especially since how short it is, unless they somehow figure out some sort of genius cure, or if it's like a short film or something. The mannequin. Oh! Uh, maybe not get out of your car. Oh. Oh, wait, that's their home. Alright. I want to get in. Oh! Freaky. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. oh, no. Do they have superhuman strikes? I did not like that. Oh. They have no cake either. They truly are monsters. Okay. And now, get to the final part, but they're no short horror film, so. Will our heroes make it out of this? Probably not. Part 4. This is footage. Wait, is more than happen? Holy shit! Why do I feel like this series is going to end with like that place being nuked? I'm only checking the other screen. I'm, I'm totally not scared. What are you talking about? What? How? Is 
think I'm gonna make it. I can't watch. I can't. no, 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 no. I I can't. I can do this. Do this. Ain't gonna run. Holy shit. And they in the house. And now they out the house. It, uh, I don't think I'll be able to sleep for. I think I'm going to have to scratch the whole sleep thing for tonight. Ah. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep now. Oh, yep. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, that's all of Australia. Oh. Oh, shit. Alright, now we are at what seems to be the ending of the, uh, mannequin, the short mannequin and long horror series. Things are getting more cinematic. That's freaky. Why are you leaving your door your door open, moron? Okay, we're actually going to see it move. Oh, it's over for ya. It is so old. And there it is. The mannequin. But are you even safe in there? Probably not. Uh, you sure better hope that uh, they can't get in cars. Oh. Bro, just drive. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that's horrifying.
All right. Is that it? Interrupt your regular programming to bring you breaking news from Australia. Authorities have failed to contain an outbreak of seemingly sentient mannequins that have congregated in the small town of Ironborough. The population loss has led to a decision between the Australian government and Anomaly Research Task Force to mobilise airstrikes to prevent the spread of these mannequins. Ah! A short Okay! I really hope the three... Yeah, I really hope those three survived. Oh, shit. Alright, uh, so yeah, uh, that's how the man can tapes ended. Um... If you want me to do a video about it, I I probably will, but you know. Um Yeah, I'm just learning that this guy is Australian. Sweet. Now finally we get to SCP the Predator. Which can't wait for this one. Let's, let's get into it. Lockdown immediately. Containment unit 004 has been breached. Imagine if the SPC or the SCP Foundation actually tried to uh, they contain the predator. Or just imagine if they tried to contain like a horror slasher like Jason Voorhees or something. Oh. So, Harris. Oh, so wait, are they going to. So wait, is the predator going to be chasing down the threat? Oh, yep. There he is. Shit. Oh, does he know that, uh, that the spaceship contains a predator? And no, I don't mean the type that is known as P. Diddy or Drake. Wait. Yeah, yeah, Drake. Uh, not Kanye. It's Drake. Oh, never mind. He's already here. I want to run. Yeah, if I was in this situation, I'd be running. I'd be leaving the place. It's like, nah, I'm not going out, out back, back out there. Oh, wait, yeah, if the Predator comes, yeah, he's screwed. Because one of the ways to survive the Predator is to just not be armed. Like, if you're not armed, you don't show any intent to attack the Predator, then you should be fine. Oh, shit! Oh, it's the... it's the thing! Oh, shit! Oh, that, that's a parasite! Yes! Hell yeah!
Oh. 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 Oh, dang. He's like, please don't kill him. Okay, yeah, he's not. Is that it? I know it's a short film and all, but, you know. Yeah, he's going to change his game. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, that's, that's how it ends. Wait, maybe there's like a little secret that no? Alright. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was Spring Talk, the creator of the Chimpy Chippa short analog horror series, and currently the Mankin analog horror series, and that really good SCP Foundation short horror film. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm looking forward to whatever other work that he has plans for in the future. As usual, I'll be checking it out whenever I can. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that was the first video. Make sure you all subscribe and like more, and I'll see you all later. Southern Guards, and bye!